last orders before lockdown. Scotland is about to be hit with some of the toughest COVID restrictions in Europe and Nicola Sturgeon's tighter measures are calling time on businesses that serve alcohol. Well, the measures I announced today will feel like a backward step uh, and in many respects I know they are. They are in the interest of protecting our progress overall. It is by taking tough but necessary action now that we hope to avoid even tougher action in future. Across the central belt, all pubs and restaurants will shut down this Friday at 6pm for 16 days. For context, that affects about 70% of Scotland's population. In this area, indoor entertainment like bowling alleys will also be closed and public transport is to be avoided. In the rest of Scotland, pubs and restaurants are allowed to stay open, but only until 6pm and they're not allowed to serve alcohol indoors. In the weeks ahead, the whole country will be in the firing line, but perhaps no more so than Scotland's hospitality sector. Like other small businesses, they are looking to the First Minister for a clear statement of what support they can expect. A £40 million support package has been announced, but representatives of hospitality say that's not enough. We're going to lose perhaps 50% of our staff, 25,000 people here, because there's no respite. The central belt of Scotland is now closed for business. The First Minister said it wasn't a lockdown, but it's certainly a lockdown for those in the central belt of Scotland, for the pubs and the bars and the restaurants. Nicola Sturgeon says she's being guided by the science. Professor Bogart specialises in respiratory illnesses and agrees that targeting drink could drive down the numbers. Once people do go into bars and restaurants and they consume alcohol, that it's, they drop their guard and they actually forget about the restrictions, although they don't want to do that intentionally. So there is a scientific explanation behind targeting alcohol? Well, there's definitely data to show that. But Harry is one of those whose livelihood is now on the line. His job is supplying the alcohol to pubs and restaurants in Glasgow. I think it's going to be it's going to be scary. It's going to be a loss of jobs. A lot of pubs might not even open up at the back of this anymore. I think a lot of pubs are going to have to pivot to take away services as well. But the flip side of that, you're competing with the bigger players as well. So independents, I think, are going to struggle. Nicola Sturgeon's been told what's at stake. Jobs may be lost, businesses may close. But this is about steering the people of Scotland through a pandemic. She's made it her priority to get the COVID numbers down quickly before hitting what could be a particularly bleak winter.